Hello guys, my name is Diego Pacheco and this is another DevOps video. And in this video, we're going to talk more about Terraform. So today I want to show you another killer feature from Terraform, which is the for each feature. That's a really, really useful feature for Terraform. And um, I have some simple project to demonstrate the power of this feature for you. So um, let's get started. So here, um, I have an IntelliJ project, but again, you don't need to use IntelliJ. Uh, if you remember last video, I was showing that Terraform has the ability to deal with um, JSON files and it's pretty neat, you can use functions. If you didn't saw that video, I recommend you see it. It's really cool, right? So here I have a custom JSON instances. Let's say I wanna do the same task for three different servers, right? And uh, this could be the IP of the servers, could be the arm, could be whatever information you want. So I just say I have three instances, server one, two, and three, that I wanna do the exactly same thing. So what I'm looking for is kind of a dynamic resources creation. So imagine if I have 10 here, I actually would want to create 10 items or to destroy 10 items. And Terraform can do that for us, right? So again, don't be stuck with my syntax here. I lay out the JSON this way. You can lay out the JSON whatever way you want, right? So that's my data.json. So here we're gonna play with um, AWS provider, right? So it's important for you in your Terraform that uh, you know make sure you're using one of the latest versions. I'm using um, 0 0.12, uh, 13 is not out yet. And as you can see, I'm using the latest by now uh, AWS provide, which is 3.0, right? And uh, it should run the um, form in it. I already have run it, right? So it'll be pretty fast, but for you it might take some time because uh, Terraform will download uh, the AWS uh, provider for you. And you're gonna see there's this dot Terraform folder where he will add um, the AWS provider for you as a single binary, which is pretty sweet. Um, now let's take a look in our main.tf, right? So here I have the AWS provider. I'm saying I do wanna use at least uh, 3.0. I'm setting a default region, uh, which for me gonna be US with two. I'm also passing a, a secret access key and secret key, all right? Uh, as you can see, I'm not putting my credentials here. Um, you can put your credentials or, you know, um, for, for this demo gonna do, we're not actually running on AWS, so I really don't need this part. So that's why I'm having these three other parameters to skip credentials validations, to skip API check and to uh, skip request account on idea right? because they're really not hitting AWS, right? Then we're gonna have the locals uh, block where I'm gonna load a JSON file and it is gonna be uh, a map in memory, all right? It will be a JSON object in memory. Then I use the file function and I pass to the code function, all right? Um, and then this is the cool thing, right? So let's say I wanna create a bunch of AWS instances. For my sample here is instance, but imagine this could be ELBs, it could be database clusters, could be whatever you want, right? And let's say for all my instances, I want the same EMI, I wanna create a type that is too, too large, and a subnet ID, and tags, actually I wanna use my JSON, right? And um, here's the trick, there's this for each, right? And uh, for, for each, I wanna use local, right, to access my locals. And I wanna use JSON data, which is this variable, then my instances. My instances is this um, object here, all right? And I just have like key value pairs, but I could have complex objects, whatever I want here. So for instance, here, all my instances I'm using T large, right, T too large. But if I want here, uh, inside of instance could be an object, and then here could have, um, an instance type there, uh, and then I could be able to pass different instance types per server. In my case, I don't, right? I actually want the same MI, the same uh, size. I just wanna change the subnet ID and the tags, right? And that's the cool thing about each. This will be the each element of the for each, the current element, right? And I'm getting the key. So in this case, um, this is what I'm getting, right? And, um, <clears throat> And that's it, right? That's pretty much it. So this is really sweet. Um, we can we can do some simple uh, testing here, right? So we should do Terraform 
I don't do apply right now because I don't have my proper credentials here, so it won't work. But in Terraform plan, you're going to see that this works, right? Because if you look at Terraform plan, it says three. So basically, it will create resources, all right? And if you look, what Terraform is saying is, okay, there will be an AWS instances, right? Uh, for this EMI, teach you large, right? And this will be server one, right? Here's your tags. I also can see there's another server called server two. Same MI, same instance type, subnet ID, and the tag. And here, if I keep going, I'm gonna see server tree, right? And this is this is super sweet because Terraform is gonna manage the um, state for us, and we actually don't need to dynamically generate these. You know, we don't need to write a program in any language to create, uh, you know, a TF file. And that's the beauty of the for each functioning Terraform is really, really useful. So that's it um, for today. I hope you guys like it. See you next time. Cheers.